This is question 2 in our discussion on the solving of P5 problem sums involving fractions. Let us start by reading the question. Jason spent one third of his money on a basketball. He spent three quarters of the remaining money on a badminton racket. He spent another five dollars on his lunch and had one eighth of the original sum of money left. How much did the badminton racket cost? So step one is to highlight the keywords in this question. The first set of keywords is over here. It indicates that he spent one third of his money on the basketball. The second set of keywords is over here. It informs us that he spent three quarters of the remaining money on a badminton racket. Then he spent another five dollars on his lunch and had one eighth of the original amount of money left. So after we highlight the keywords, step two is to transform the keywords into useful information like models. So from the first set of keywords, we know that his entire sum of money can be divided into three big units. And he spent one third of it on the basketball. Then the remaining money can be divided into four smaller units. So we will divide these two big units into four smaller units. Since one big unit can be subdivided into two smaller units, this yellow unit can also be divided into two smaller units as well. Like this. And we indicate that three of these remaining four units was spent on badminton racket. So let's focus on this last unit. For this last unit, he spent $5 of this unit on his lunch and had one eighth of the original amount of money left. So $5 for lunch and the remainder is one eighth of the original sum of money. So let's analyze the model. We know that after we subdivide the remainder into four smaller units, if we look at the entire whole then we have six small units over here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Therefore, each of this unit is actually one sixth of the original sum of money. Therefore, this remaining unit over here is one sixth of the original amount of money. So the next thing to do is to find out the fraction that is representing the amount spent for lunch. So we know that the entire unit is 1 6 and after spending for lunch he has 1 8 left. Therefore, we subtract 1 8 from 1 6 and we get 1 out of 24. So 1 out of 24 is the fraction that he spent on lunch. And we also know that 1 out of 24 is actually equals to the $5 over here. So 1 out of 24 is equals to five dollars. The question is asking us how much did the badminton racket cost? So we know that based on our earlier discussion we have six units and badminton racket over here is represented by three units. So the badminton racket is actually three out of six. So three out of six of the entire sum of money was spent on the badminton racket. So next, we will change this 3 out of 6 into an equivalent fraction where the denominator is 24. This will give us 12 out of 24. So 12 out of 24 is the fraction that's representing the badminton racket. Since we know from our calculation over here that 1 out of 24 is equals to $5, therefore, the badminton racket is equals to 12 units over here multiplied by $5 and this will give us the answer of 60. Therefore, we have solved the question and we found out that the badminton racket cost us $60. So again, we went through three major steps. First, we highlighted the keywords over here. Then, we transformed the keywords into this set of useful information which is represented by the model. 
Then, from the model, we are able to do our calculation and analysis and arrive at the answer, which is the cost of the badminton racket is $60. So let's now move on to the third question.